Lambs have been born thick and fast. Some on their own. and some needing help from these young shepherds. This ewe only had one lamb of her own, so Dan fostered or gave her an orphaned lamb. So that the ewe will think the orphan is her own lamb, Dan rubs it with the afterbirth and fluid which her own lamb was covered in when it was born. The orphan lamb now smells like the ewe's own lamb and she accepts it as her own. Well, we're here in the lamb shed at the water at the moment. And I've just got to brief, we've got to keep an eye on some sheep just in the corner. If you look over there, there, there is a sheep that's having a baby, it's giving birth now, but there's another one which has already had a lamb. And they're, they're going to get all jumbled up and each one's going to try and take the other's lamb. So I'm going to have to just go in and carefully pick up the one lamb that's just been born and move it into a pen just at the other end of the shed so that they don't get mixed up. It's all go The newborn lamb belongs to this sheep, not that one. The sheep thinks this is her lamb, so we've got to just carefully put one into a pen and there with her newborn lamb. Can you see all that? The newborn lamb. <laughs> I just do a little feel now, I'm going to put my hand underneath and lift. Oh, she's got another lamb. There's another lamb in there, so she's going to have another baby to go with that one. But in the meantime, this little monkey lamb is getting in the way. No, she's had her lambs, I don't think she's having any more. So I'm going to try and walk this one to the other end out of the way. What we do, once they've landed in here, we'll now put them into a, an individual pen on their own and they'll stay in that pen for 24 hours per day and it just makes sure that the bond between the, the, the ewe and the lamb is good and strong. And when they've got a nice strong bond, then we'll put them into a small group of 20 ewes and lambs. And we'll go and have a look at those in a moment. And when they're happy that everything's all, all right, there's no problems, then they'll all go out into a field to get out to grass. But we'll keep walking this one. I'll put you in a little temporary pen up there. <coughs> She's secure there for a few minutes. Well, we'll just go and we'll just check the other lamb. The other you, I should say, that's just had a lamb. Okay. Yeah. Well, we're, we're, here we are in some individual pens. Now, we, you've seen the lamb being born in a yard over there, and the mothers were sort of getting a little bit confused and mixing up with which is which. So we bring them in here, and they spend 24 hours a day in a pen like this. This gives the you chance to, to really get them to know the smell of her lamb. Now sheep have the most amazing sense of smell. Far, far, far better than our, our sense of smell. They can smell things hundreds of yards away, hundreds of meters away, which we can't. So they, they if you look how they use that, they're, they're licking and, and sniffing their lamb. They're licking them and sniffing them. Oh, they're having some food because they're hungry. But they're just getting to know the exact smell of their own lamb. And they will only accept their own lambs. They will not accept another sheep's lambs to come and suckle them and look after them. We, we term this our mothering up group. Now, as lambs being born, they then spent a day, 24 hours, in the pen, an individual pen, and then we bring them in here in a group, and they're just in here for a day, 
again, it's just to get used to being in amongst the crew uh, and just to get used to that being all together. They'll stay in here, say, for another day, and if everything's all right, and there's no problem ones, then they'll all go out to grass and uh, they should be fine. But if, they, if, we, if there's any problem, then we'll have to uh, we'll just keep them back a bit longer. We will follow these lambs as they grow over the summer. <laughs> 